How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I wanted to do just the basic first impressions of the new Apple TV. Long awaited, um, been waiting years for this. I definitely had the original Apple TV, used it for a long time and really nice to see the refresh is here. Obviously the new operating system looks really nice, uh, as clean as Apple always does things. Um, but the first thing I noticed, and this is the first thing I really liked, is that uh, the home screen isn't really crowded with a bunch of crap. The older Apple TV, there, there wasn't an app store, and there weren't, uh, you didn't have an option of what apps you wanted. Everything was just on the home screen, and now, um, really, when you first turn it on, all you're going to see are basically these eight apps right here up into settings. Everything else is up to you. What you want to be on there, you download it. You go right to the app store, and there it is, and you search, and they've got a really clean interface where you can you know see apps broken down from games they've got every single video app you can think of they've got channels um super impressed by just how much is available usa today uh all the kid channels now don't be deceived you do have to have a subscription to direct tv uh time warner at&t you've got to have a subscription to some of these cable providers or you're not going to be able to watch junior disney and xd and like uh these are just not openly available so a lot of these you do have to have a subscription in order to be able to watch them so keep that in mind don't be don't cut out your cable thinking this is going to replace everything it's not going to work like that um but um you do have all the great streaming platforms on here the one i didn't see on here was uh voodoo um i didn't see flickster um, so uh, there are some limitations. Everything isn't on here, but there is a good selection. You've also got a lot of fun apps like Funny or Die. Um, you got some cooking apps, a little music app here for uh, playing music. So, and there's even a really cool app, not a cool app, but th there's a Grubhub app. So you can actually order food right from your Apple TV, which, v, which is pretty awesome. Um, got all your big news stations like your CNN, CNBC, ABC News, uh, and the games. There's that Grubhub right down there. One thing that I was really blown away by, and I guess I just didn't pay attention well enough when they did the announcement, but um, the fact that the remote actually has the built-in um, um, uh, gyrosphere. I uh, hope I'm pronouncing that right. But basically, the remote um, basically turns into a controller so like there's a racing game i was playing and the remote actually turns sideways and you control it um let me open the game i was just playing just to give you a really quick um quick visual asphalt 8 so this is a huge racing game great graphics and basically the remote for apple tv you turn it sideways and you are able to race with it and it, it like it's comfortable so really surprised, I'm just gonna show you this really quick. Let's just get right into the race. And basically, our remote is gonna turn sideways, just like this. And obviously we gotta have all these fancy graphics. All right, come on, let's get in the race. Two, one, zero. And basically, as you tilt, that game is going. And obviously you can download a, um, a Bluetooth controller. There's like a serious controller that looks like an Xbox controller. And it basically will allow you to play serious games. I mean, the, the game selection on here is incredible. What's funny is this really reminds me of um, basically Fire TV, Amazon's TV. But I feel like they did it right. Because with Fire TV, you had to have you had to buy their Bluetooth controller to play just about all the games, and with this, like, you really just use the remote for most of the games. Obviously, if you want a more realistic gaming experience, you would buy the controller. But like, knowing that my remote can do the job, I'm not gonna buy that controller because I'm not a serious gamer. But I want to play a quick game or have a little fun. I'm gonna grab the remote and do that. So. Uh, love the gaming aspect of it. I think it's going to make this an a, a even more useful accessory because it, now it's not just about streaming. This is something you can give to your kids and they can race. And a lot of the games are simple. Like, like you're not talking about a really elaborate platform where it's for adults. Like your kids can play this as well. 
and I hear there's a couple of multiplayer games. I haven't been able to find any yet, but uh, there's supposed to be some games you can interact with other people. So that's really awesome. Uh, I really love the screensaver, and, and just to show you, uh, with the remote, basically, if you hit menu, you keep hitting menu till you can't hit it anymore, um, it will take you right to this really cool screensaver, and the screensaver will adjust depending on the time of the day, so it's nighttime, so right now the screensaver is dark, but during the day, it, it's bright. This is just uh, a street in, uh, I believe it's New York, because there's a bunch of taxi cabs, but, um... I love the interactive screensaver. Um, really gives your room some character. Some days I just leave it on, just let it play, just because it's something cool to glance up and watch when I'm working. But um, screensaver is cool. Um, I love the new remote. The fact that the the top of the remote is basically a trackpad. So uh, sorry, the room is a little dark, so it's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to try to clean it up as best I can. So on the remote, the very top, from here to here, there's a trackpad, and it basically functions just like your laptop. So I can swipe right, swipe left, and it just follows you. So I thought this was a, a really brilliant design. And right here, we do have our, uh, our voice control button, which is basically Siri. And so, you know, not only do you use the remote for navigating, but I can use Siri and I can have it uh, launch certain things. So just really quick, I can just say, hey, uh, Empire. Let's say you want to search for that show. I can just say Empire, it comes up, and when I click on it, it'll actually show me the platforms it's available on. So it's on iTunes, it's on Hulu, um, I can click right there and it's going to launch the Hulu app. I go open and I already have Hulu downloaded and it's going to open it and it's going to take me right to Empire. So I, I love the Siri integration because um, it really allows you to do a lot more. And there it is. took me right to Empire on, on there. Now I can also ask it other questions like, um, oh, let me hold the right button first. When do the Lakers play again? And they'll actually show me. So I thought that was incredible. I definitely didn't even expect uh, anything like that. Uh, so you can search your favorite team. And that's another thing that I really love about it is that and if you're a sports person, man, this is the device for you. Because if you go down to the, in the app store and you go down to sports, they've got every, just about, they've covered every sport. They're damn near, I'm surprised it's not a rugby app. You know, <laughs> but, uh, you know, all the main sports are here. Um, I, I believe they're supposed to get the MLB app and that's going to be, uh, next season. Baseball just ended anyway, so it doesn't matter, but, um, that's the only one that is not represented here, but sports to news to video streaming to games. I mean, this device is packed. Now I will say too, I was not too happy with it being $50 more than the original Apple TV, which was $99. But I'm seeing I'm seeing the value of why it's a little bit more. You're paying for the extra, you're paying for the storage, being able to store a lot more, which is downloading a ton of apps. But also you're paying for a more premium remote that allows you to do a lot more than the simpler original Apple TV remote as well. So anyway, this first impression is running really long. I've got a lot more information to share, but we'll save that for the pros and cons review. But uh, this has been just my first impressions. Really impressed by Apple TV so far. There are a couple of cons that I have, but I'll share those in the review. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, favor, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to HU Tech videos, and have a good one.